In this video I'll be showing you where to find the power switch and also how to access Pack-a-Punch on the map 5. To start off with how to find the power switch. From the spawn room if you come over to the left hand side here and open up this first door here. If you then make your way down the hallway and open up this barricade in front of the elevator. Then go in the elevator and take it downstairs. Once it arrives downstairs if you make your way over this walkway down the stairs and open up this barricade here. Then make your way down to the left hand side of the stairs. Over to the elevator downstairs and open up this barricade and activate the elevator downstairs to go down to the labs. Once arrived at the labs make your way down to the middle of the lab area and in here you shall find your power switch just there. Now that you have the power turned on on the map you can now access the packer punch. In order to access the packer punch if you come to the war room which is the middle part of the map you will need to activate four defcon switches around the room. Two of the defcon switches could be found on the top of walkway area. One could be found right next to the stairs here. Another one if you come around the walkway to the back of the room you should find it here on the wall. And the other two difficult switches can be found downstairs in the lower part of the wall room on either side of the staircase, to the left near the elevator and also to the right to the right of the mule kick machine. Once you've activated all the DEFCON switches and got the DEFCON level to DEFCON 5, if you come to the middle of the room you should notice that the teleporter will now have a picture of Pack-a-Punch on it. Once you walk into these teleporters you will then be teleported straight into the Pack-a-Punch room. You can then walk over to the end of the room here and Pack-a-Punch a weapon. Bear in mind that once you Pack-a-Punch a weapon as soon as as you leave this room either via the teleporter or via the main doors then you will not be able to access this room again normally unless you reactivate all the difficult switches around the war room. Otherwise that's all there is to this video, I hope you guys found it useful. If you need another guide to 5 or any other zombies map there will be links to those down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Otherwise I'll see you all in the next video.